Hi, welcome to this another episode of our series on the Central Vista. And as our viewers uh, remember, we had done a, a long series on the Central Vista when this whole idea was conceived. Uh, it was in the initial phase of uh, planning. And now when it is being executed, uh, we are finding now uh, voices of different hues are actually joining and actually condemning the government. They're condemning for various reasons. Uh, one happens to be that during the pandemic, when the government should have focused on uh, reaching out to the, the poorest of the poor, is spending more than 20,000 crores on, uh, the, uh, on, the, on the redevelopment of the Central Vista that comprises uh, the new parliament, a palatial mansion for the prime minister, underground dungeons, uh, bunkers, uh, and whatnot, and of course the vice president uh, house that is to come up, and of course uh, uh, this stretch of the Rajput that, that Rajput that is going to have a complete redevelopment. Uh, so yeah, different voices are there from the ecological aspect, from social, political, and uh, economic aspect. And today we have with us uh, Romi Kosla to uh, discuss uh, on, uh, on 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 the Central Vista. So, uh, Romi, thank you for joining with us, and uh, it's uh, been really a pleasure uh, to discuss uh, the whole issue of the Central Vista. Would you like to throw some light, you know, after the new uh, paradigm dimension that has come up, uh, despite the fact that the Supreme Court laid its stamp and said, hey, I mean, you have to go ahead with the redevelopment, but you know, the kind of work that is happening during the pandemic, and it's been termed as a national emergency. Uh, uh, I mean, national emergency in the sense that it's a very essential work uh, and putting uh, lives of uh, more than, uh, I mean, hundreds of uh, workmen who are at risk, I mean, uh, being ferried from the labor camps to the working site. But more than that, I think, uh, not just to focus on the pandemic, I mean, how do you see this entire project? I mean, uh, do you think this is a, a kind of, uh, uh, you know, what we've seen eras of different uh, emperors, the Roman emperor and the Roman empire, uh, similarly, we had we have seen uh, the German emperor and the German empire, the Vauxhall that was being prepared, uh, that was being designed. So, do you find some kind of similarity happening uh, then and now? How do you actually see this entire Central Vista redevelopment project going on? I think there are some very special, uh, specific issues with regard to the Central Vista in relation to Delhi and India. First of all we have to understand that this central vista was created by the British um, colonists, designed by Edwin Lutyens, and basically was stretching from India Gate right up to Rashtrati Bhavan as a processional route. Okay. In other words, every so often the King of England or the Viceroy of England would come down in processional form down this uh, Rajpath, and which was called Kingsway in the old days, and go to this palace. So the population was therefore given place on the sides of this in the lawns. And also there is a, if you know the Central Vista very well, as you go up towards uh, the hill, Raisina Hill, there is a series of steps which are in, um, in the garden there, which lie ignored, but where the clapping public was to be placed. Okay. Now, it's quite possible that when you have, even though we are in 2021, when you are being ruled by a system of governance, which is not very well informed about the modern world, it is quite possible that the similar delusions about having a grand entry down the um, ceremonious pathway is haunting your uh, dreams that one day... What does that mean? I mean, in simpler terms, I mean, yeah, what does that terms, mean? One day, the people who head government may be able to drive down this avenue in their grandeur and go to the top. So it's also a psychological problem. I mean, this is the first time we have been hearing that, yeah. First of all, there is an issue about making a ceremonial pathway. Okay. Now, when you make a ceremonial pathway, you don't want the lawns because, you know, if we are a democratic country, you might get people yeah. throwing stones at you. So, yeah. you first of all, make it into a restricted zone. So, 
first and foremost there is this desire to have a ceremonial uh, way because quite frankly there is no need for it because once a year the republic day parade goes down it we crowd round the um, lawns we sit and we clap and we see the uh, the democratic achievements of india for that it is fine you don't have to redo this thing in order to have a, some kind of a ceremonial parade unless you have something else in mind okay secondly there is another wording issue in the sense that when you have a, a government government being led by people who are not very scientifically inclined they believe in our ancient wisdom even at the cost of confronting new kinds of problems so here what has happened is that the vastus have indicated have been indicating for some time and vastus are very influential um, people particularly in the south but now this has happened in, in the north who have maintained that you can never get peace and tranquility or strong governance in india because you have a round ball <laughs> yes. all right that's quite so, funny indeed yes so they quote <laughs> the fact that you can't have opposition the british yeah. parliament has very much two sides to the chamber in which yeah. the opposition sits on one here you get gradations of uh, opposition where people sit in a circle so originally the british had made this for the council and they they were addressed by the by the viceroy and the council in its various uh, positions sat around in a circle now in a democratic system there is a strong opinion of um, the vastu that you must make a square pal and place it within a triangle of form so that it is close to sri yantra okay now in addition now this is entirely my own conjecture all right i am uh, not going to quote anybody except my own self okay. it is to say that certain dates have been set down for this oh that's Those interesting are very critical for the vastu that okay. beyond that date if you are not able to complete these projects the country will be ungovernable so that's why that's why i mean just to damn the pandemic damn the lives of the people you just go ahead for the dates I and mean, that's very interesting please so this is the only reason because uh, what happens to kinder we are as architects continuously in touch with vastu okay. many a client of ours comes and tells us that do you mind if a vastu sits with you and <laughs> okay. uh, or that's the design and we are saying fine i mean absolutely no problem and in a, to give you an example somebody will say dekhiye ji master bedroom south mein hona chahiye kitchen should be dakshin south uh, kitchen yeah. should be in the water should be in the north entrance should be from the east so these are these are vastu uh, rules with which we are very familiar okay. and we are also very familiar with the fact that i have been told personally by vastus of people whose houses are built ke yaar ye so and so date tak khatam kar dena uske baad wo jo grey honge gadbad karenge okay so because i am familiar with the way in which vastus work i realize that something on a grand scale may be happening which is replicating my own experience yeah true otherwise so, i can't quite find, evident yeah quite evident definitely i can't find a reason for this why do you bring forward dates and obviously the the idea that you have to have a new house for the heads of government etc is also connected with this you see you can a vastu can come to me and tell me you know this building is made on the wrong wrong inclination its entrance is wrong its whole room layout is wrong you will have lot of illness here if you do this you go bankrupt this, बहुत कॉमन है हमारे लिए हम तो सुनते yeah. रहते हैं सब चीजें और अगला जो घर बनवा रहा है घबरा जाता है कि यार बदल दो यार क्या तो हमें बैंक अबाउट दिस थिंग एट दिस लेवल नाउ कम टू द इश्यू ऑफ मनी व्हाई इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड करोड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड करोड नथिंग इफ यू नो इट इट स्टेक इज द होल ऑफ द गवर्नेंस ऑफ इंडिया 
Yeah, yeah. Agree, agree. You are going to spend this money trying to wipe out history. ठीक है ना जो कर्जन रोड का नेम नाम बदल दिया बाराखंबा रोड का नाम बदल दिया दिस इज थिंग्स दैट आर वेरी इजी टू डू एंड यू कैन से सब स्टैचूज आपने निकाल दिए हमारी हिस्ट्री हिस्टोरिकल साइट एज इफ ए स्टैचू लाइंग अंडर अ कैनोपी व्हिच बिलोंग्स टू ब्रिटिश एम्प्रायर इज गोइंग टू अफेक्ट माय लाइफ टुडे इट इज द लैक ऑफ इमेजिनेशन इट इज द डिजायर टू चेंज हिस्ट्री it is one it's very interesting so it's part of that historical uh, understanding or what you said un, i mean which draws from the unscientific uh, complete yeah. unscientific thought yeah not only that it comes from a very um, very um, inadequate understanding of history where you imagine that history can be wiped out so many hundred years of um, rule can be dis- can disappear if you knock out a building right so what it means is that you would love to have people with no memory okay today That's when i go down rajpath and i see rashtrapati bhavan and i see latin's work i also recall that we were under a colonial rule and they gave some magnificent buildings which we have i mean i don't have any i have been you have seen rashtrapati bhavan you know do we need to knock it down and make a <laughs> uh, some indian looking uh, <laughs> what is this nonsense going on no? it is because you want to change history history can't be changed you want to change history there are two ways of doing it one is you rewrite the textbooks yeah all right and secondly you wipe out the in the the heritage of physical heritage of the history so these both things are being attempted okay and in a really? sense yeah. um, please uh, in a sense of course i certainly agree with one uh, comment that uh, tolstoy made he says history yeah, answers questions nobody has asked <laughs> true what, true what is happening now is we are being given a new history which nobody wants but i think this is one more uh, i mean and there's one more element that i would like to add and i mean you to you to correct me and uh, comment uh, on that you know i mean one of uh, i mean the series that i've been doing on the central vista one of the historians pointed out that uh, when this dialogue was taking place between baker and latians so baker was instrumental into telling latians hey if we have to govern and that was the 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 central vista is also an answer to the rising national independence movement and he said the the british architecture primarily tudor and gothic was left in calcutta or in my town where i come from simla so this delhi was a mixture of you know mogul and our old uh, i mean dome shape uh, so if you have to answer the rising uh, freedom movement then it has to be in jail with what akbar brought in the sulah kul i mean he mentions that and then she pointed out that this is not their heritage actually this is our heritage heritage of the modern india and for a long period actually we have probably the discourse the present discourse that we have in the country or the government uh, uh, that is running this uh, this country for, the, for at the, uh, currently doesn't believe even an iota of bit in this modern history especially the struggle against the british don't you think i mean that is also one of the reasons why they want to just knock down the older buildings and probably construct a new i mean do you find some uh, well we have validation to, of that we have to look historically at what was happening in the 1930s when the viceroy announced that there would be a capital in india because the british were under the impression ke bhai ye to ab forever ye raj karenge yahan yeah. so let us make a uh, capital for ourselves at that time in india there were a number of british architects who were building buildings in agra and in lucknow etc they all petitioned the uh, viceroy कि जी जो इंडियन स्टाइल है वो इंडियन सरसेनी है इट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वेस्टर्न एंड इंडियन मोटिव यू फाइंड द बिल्डिंग्स इन आगरा एंड लखनऊ एंड ही लिसन टू देम एंड व्हेन ही डिस्कस इट एट वेस्टमिनिस्टर इन इंग्लैंड द वेस्टमिनिस्टर कैबिनेट एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर थॉट नहीं यार लेट अस सेंड समबडी न्यू ये आपस में झगड़ते रहेंगे ओके 15 20 uh, अंग्रेज आर्किटेक्ट्स जो आगरा लखनऊ दिल्ली में काम ये लड़ते रहेंगे सो दे फाउंड एडविन लाटियंस एडविन लाटियंस वाज 
part of their club. He was not good at making, not known for making cities or anything like that. All okay. right. He was he actually used to design country houses for the aristocrats. He has done a oh. number of beautiful, expansive estates. Okay. But he, um, and his wife um, also um, was uh, very well known at that time as a theosophist. Okay. So he was appointed as the architect above all and others who were here. And they have already settled and doing practice for the British. You see, the British government here was there building all the time. So they had their own architects, British architects settled here. So when Latias was appointed for this very major task, he got a bit nervous and he wanted to look around to see who was, who could work with him, support him on such a big scale. And he identified Herbert Baker, who was making capital complex in South Africa. And that's why when they both came and started working on it, it is true that they fell out. And the, the most uh, memorable example of their falling out was the final slope that leads to the Rashtrapati Bhavan. As you know that from Vijay Chowk, you drive up to Rashtrapati Bhavan. Mm. Now what Latians, Latians used to go back by boat and be in England for seven, eight months and then used to come visiting. Baker was situated here. So what Baker did was the North and South block buildings, he brought them right up. Okay. Building. And the Rashtrapati Bhavan or the Viceroy's Lodge was at the back. And he made the slope at an angle so that when you went up the slope, you couldn't see the Russian the Viceroy's house. Yeah. You couldn't see it at all. You saw all Baker's architecture okay. as you approached. Okay, so that's interesting. Yeah. So, Latians wrote a very angry letter to the Viceroy. That I was England, I was to my architecture. I was to do it for me. So, they, that was installed permanently. So, if okay. anybody drives up there, they will see what the fight okay. was. But otherwise not. They, they of course, stopped talking to each other after that. Okay. So, uh, now they have appointed only a single architect. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's what I was pointing out. I mean, the last question that if uh, I may ask is, you know, the, many of the, uh, the fraternity, they said, okay, Central Vista is fine. But, you know, there should have been some transparency. Uh, transparency into design. Or these are things that how do you think? I mean, why, why is there no transparency? Or, or is it completely transparent within the government and within the people who should know what, what it should be like? This work, um, transparency has not been a quality of our governance for some time on any issue they are not going to get transparent about it. Because transparency means that there's democracy. You can't have you autocracy and uh, secrecy, democracy and transparency. So you cannot suddenly switch systems. We are in an autocratic system without transparency on any issue. Why only this central vista? Is that issue on vaccines? Is there transparency? Yeah, is yeah. there transparency on any issue? No. Yeah. Was there transparency on uh, economic issues such as when the GTS was put or when the notes were put? So there's never been transparency. Why would I expect it? I do not expect any transparency in the present form of governance because it's not democratic government. And when I say transparency, I mean it in the extreme sense, in the sense that it, it, this is not even shared at the cabinet level. How, let alone public, hum to bahut hai bhai. Hame to <laughs> True. <laughs> so I don't expect it. And I don't think that we should, you see, for me, when, when we want to uh, oppose the project, we must understand its full dimensions. We must okay. connect it to aut 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 autocracy. We must connect it to Vastu, ancient yeah. knowledge. It is when, they, when we combine these things together and think of it on a broad front, will we understand what is happening? Yeah, 
आई कॉन्ट टेक अ नैरो व्यू इन सेट आपने ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड करोड़ कहीं और नहीं लगाया तो मोर ऑफ दर्मा टर्न राउंड इन सेस हमारे पास बहुत पैसा है who knows what the prediction is for 2020 24 who knows what is the requirement that is required to be finished before the election can take election yeah. you see so it is all integral tell me uh, in the, you have a very uh, extensive political understanding of uh, the scene in india i mean it's not a electoral issue you can't go to election and say i completed a central vista project there has yeah. to be something much deeper much deeper definitely much deeper connected to some other thing things yeah you know, not an electoral thing is the collect True. the completion for the election is not i mean if i was completing 10000 hospitals i could say that this is an electoral yeah central system is the election se kya taluq usko mujhe nahi pata true 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 it's some ancient some ancient knowledge which is coming into this ke is tarah pehle kar denge ye to barbad ho jayenge yeah yeah so probably this is the new banyan tree <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> absolutely i'm absolutely right. clean, but this is my own personal yeah no no fine but fantastic for my own experiences no definitely especially yeah. bringing in that whole psychological i mean why it's so important to the psyche of the present discourse yeah. so thank you for uh, joining with us romi and it was really wonderful talking to you one. and i wish uh, that i mean as has been pointed out it's an interconnected issue definitely it's not just the central vista that we are talking about so thank you so much we have to yeah, learn please. we have to learn um to start thinking in a much more broader fashion about our problems about our problems realizing that there is no single cause for them yeah, yeah. there is poverty health so these these require very big uh, rethinks on a, many many fronts yeah. thank you so much thank yeah. you thank you